Hello guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory Update 5 teaser video breakdown and we have been absolutely treated today. Starting off though, we're going to take a quick look at the few noticeable points that we saw from last week's ramp video and then we'll hit the new video and break it down. So first off, we have the ramped rails along with the new design which look fantastic and immediately after this we can spot that the rails are placed every now and then along the middle of a ramp. This suggests that the new build mechanics are here as it's pretty difficult to get this position of railing without placing multiple walkways and foundations down first. Another worthy note in this trailer is though the train station is the exact same skin as we currently see in game, you may note that the truck station looks slightly different to usual. Currently we have the two cylinders which are on the front side of the depot, but now it looks like those have been moved so that they're all on one side. Now this could just be a renovation of the skin, or it could point towards this update including the much needed upgrades to vehicles. And finally, the last thing to note in this particular trailer was the half rail which you can see blocking the path here. Now I can't wait to use this in game, as we'll have so much more control over their placement. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the brand new trailer. Now you can see within the first few seconds that we have got a, a new framed pillar which I can't wait to get my hands on as I'll finally be able to create some really cool looking oil rig style builds which will be nicely matched with what I believe could possibly be another new concrete looking pillar. Now on the this is on the left and currently supporting the track. We can also see further in the distance in the background some other notable interests, but we'll save them for the next frames of the video. Next we get our first view of the new full wall window panes. Now this is one of my favourite additions as this is something that I've been wanting for a long time, and especially along with the ramped walls which you might catch a little glimpse of it just here. And actually over here as well. Yes, we now have the corrugated iron diagonal walls. And with that, you can also spot a corrugated iron roof. And below that, a glass hive style wall, which looks stunning. Now I believe, judging from the next shot, that these are two walls placed on top of one another. There's only a tiny visible break rather than the usual chunky wall breaks that we normally see. Now this is a great addition in my eyes and you can actually see this on the new glass panels at the back, the big glass window panes. They look like they're stacked three high but there is no visible break in between them. If we return to the forefront, the hived glass is partnered by another corrugated iron roof, which could suggest we'll be receiving a new roofing specific tag in the build menu, or perhaps it'll just be uh, placed alongside the foundations or walls. Either way, I'm super happy to see this added. If you look on the building behind, we can also see that there are new black squares. Now you'll notice that these are actually iron girders that we'll spot in the next few shots. And we'll also have ramped walls and glass foundations. We then have our first look at the new ramped walkway. Now I love the little black border that you can see just alongside this. And if we check the bottom of the build, you can spot the flipped ramped wall, as well as a ramped foundation frame and flat corrugated iron roof. Now the last thing that I want to point out here is the guttering around the factory. Now I'm trying to work out whether this is an individual item that we can personally place or part of the new ceiling pieces, but let me know what you think it might be in the comments below. Inside this part of the factory we get to see firsthand the iron girders, which look fantastic for supporting the wires and I loved the partnering of the diagonal walls and the diagonal framed foundation ramps, which you can see just through the window here. Now as we progress through the factory we get a much closer look of the new walkways, and it looks like the double walkways have this single dark line either side across it, whereas the single sections have the little corners as black triangles, which put together to create this dark circle look. 
Now, when it comes to the last shot, we're treated to another beautiful view at the factory, but the only addition here that I can spot is the new staircase walkway, which you can spot in the lower third of the video. But that is all, and I have to admit I'm super psyched for this update, as it really will renew everything we've tried out when it comes to design. But that is all we have time for today, so let me know what you think the black guttering around the factory was and if you enjoyed the breakdown then why not drop a thumbs up it really is appreciated anyway guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to our all of our amazing supporters most notably our solar eclipse patrons the calamity and cerebral tag as well as our lunar eclipse patrons dixie chris and james Irwin, as well as our lunar of the day which today is kareev johnny anyway guys until next time as always Ciao for now.